Hey everybody, I am Shannon Olson from Nana's Workshop and today I'm going to show you how to do some wine bottle gnomes. And uh, all you need are some wine bottles of course. Um, you will need some fuzzy socks for the hats, some faux fur for the beard, and you you kind of cut that with a comb and cut up the side because otherwise you're going to cut the fur. You want to part that fur so you don't cut that. You're going to get some thick yarn and I like this really thick stuff to uh, make the braids for the female. And you're going to need some wooden balls from Hobby Lobby and sheets. I can, I use sheets of felt for the body. You can also use another sock for the body. It's, it's whatever you want to do. All I know is these sheets are cost way less than another sock does. So then you're gonna need some twine for the hats and some bells if you wish. You can also put some fuzzy balls on the end instead of some jingle bells. But we'll go ahead and get started. And sorry, a little tight. So we're gonna do the mail first. And all I'm gonna do is I'll bring it up above so you guys can see it, but I'm, I'm wrapping the bottle in this felt and I'm gonna hot glue it. I just go up one side of the felt and fold it over, then finish wrapping that around. Then I'm gonna hot glue this other side and that will be the back side. Of course, so you don't see that seam And keep in mind that you do everything the same, even for the female, up until you do the hair. So there's the base. And now you will put, you'll slide the hat on and you'll, because you're gonna have to uh, figure out where your beard is gonna be. So you want the beard to touch the bottom here. So you're going to want to slide that hat up just a little bit. And that's where it's going to be put on. And I'm going to put the glue, just one strip along the back side, and that's all you need there. Need some more glue stick. Be careful with this hot glue. I have hot glued my fingers numerous times and it really smarts. Okay, so you have the beard on and I'm gonna put the hat on now to cover that. And you're gonna wanna come down on the back a little more than the front. And there's the front. You want it over top that the uh, edge of that beard. But before I glue this down, what I want to do is come up on the gnome on that about an inch to a quarter inch and separate that fur into kind of a hole. And actually that's where you're going to put your nose. You're gonna put a dollop of hot glue in there. Hold the nose on. You're gonna bring that fur back around kind of. Then I like to glue the back side of that hat down first so it doesn't move on me. That's hot. <laughs> And just a little bit in the front just to hold it down and I'll kind of want it right above into that faux fur just so it kind of mixes in with that and dabs in with that and you can kind of pull it off you're gonna you're gonna kind of I turned this sock inside out because I had those rubbery sticky things so I'm gonna cut these little strings off once we get that far 
but you can fluff his beard out. And there he is so far. Then you're gonna put the string on the twine. And I will tie it once on the back side and hot glue it so it stays in place. Just like so, and I let it kind of set up a little bit before I move on. And I just wrap it around. All the way, all the way to the top. Make a knot and just tie it off. If I can get that to come through. You can hot glue that too if you want, to, just to make sure it stays. Just a little spot of it. And then you're gonna put the bell on. Now, I would recommend don't put so much on the top because you will the glue will go down and you're gonna glue that the little noise maker inside. So just gonna put a little bit on two sides of that bell. Stick it to a corner of that sock on top. The heat it'd be the toe part and squish it in there. And there he is. I will trim that one piece off, but there is the guy. And you can pull this sock kind of up and in through those pieces of twine. So it kind of looks, you know, messy, kind of sideways or whatever. And there he is. There's the little guy. Now, the only difference on the girl is you put the hat, the, the braid on and I'm gonna attach this felt real quick. They're very easy to do, so much fun. And if you have excess of wine bottles, you can do these in any different colors, any different, um, like holidays, uh, I've done them in fall colors. I've done St. Patrick's Days, Va Valentine Days. Um, Valentine Days, uh, people really love them for that. Christmassy, I'm doing just wintry colors now, grays and blues. Um, I've done wedding ones. And if you go to my page, you can see the set of wedding ones in the, should be in the shop or the photos in the pictures. You may have to scroll way back, but if you are interested in the wedding ones or even graduation ones, please message me and let me know if you'd like to see a picture of those. So onward and upward. So the only difference here is all you do is hot glue them braids to the top of that bottle. Just put some glue around the top of that bottleneck, set that on top. That's all the differences into the girl. So then you're going to add the hat right over the top. Do the same thing. Bring it down further in the back. And since we don't have to part the, the beard, I'm just going to go right into that. Ouch. And... to unfold that sock a little bit in the front. Make sure you pull that off to the side always because you want to add your bell. Add your gnome or gnome your nose. And I usually lift that hat up a little bit so it kind of tucks in underneath that hat. And just put a little spot because you don't want it too much on there because you don't want it to run down the gnome. 
down the sides of the nose. And then I put a little bit, just so that hat stays secure up there. And then I want that hat to come down and around the nose. Pull those braids down a little even. Again, add the string. I put a little bit of glue in the back just to keep it secure. And I wrap around. And I kind of do this, you can pull that tight if you'd like. But I usually wait to the very top. A little bit of glue there if you like. And I'll cut them strings off and I'll cut this little string off here. Pull it off to the side and I'm gonna add my bell. And she will be done. I'm gonna get a different bell though. But she will be done as well. And there you go. Wine bottle gnomes. Thanks guys. Thanks for everybody watching and tuning in. There you have it, the wine bottle gnome tutorial from Nana's Workshop. Thanks a lot, guys. Talk to you later.